Loopy friends, it's Sherry from the Loopy U coming to you today to talk about two things. Camp Loopy is coming and I want to talk to you about that. Actually, Camp Loopy is here by the time I post this. And look at this beautiful yarn. Isn't that gorgeous? And heavy. Uh, this is yarn that we just got in. It is from Primrose, which is one of our indie dyers, and it's called Primrose Rowan DK. And the reason this yarn is special is because it is made with 60% American superwash and 40% domestic non-superwash. Now the cool thing is the American superwash is a white base and the um, domestic non-superwash is a blackish brown base so there is just an incredible i'm going to move this forward so i can stand up and maybe show you an incredible depth of color because the the darker colors come through hang on let me see if i can get enough to block me off so it will focus on that there's a depth of color that comes through that's just so pretty Hopefully it's going to focus on that. Can you see the undertones of the blackish brown under there? Which to me just gives the whole skein just uh, more depth and color play and variety. It's still a semi, I call it a semi-solid just because you do have those undertones coming through. But it knits up like a solid because you don't have lights and darks going on you don't have different colors popping in and out so it is a gorgeous yarn the nice thing about a mix of superwash and non-superwash is you know when you knit with superwash a lot of times your projects grow a little bit it doesn't hold cables as crisply it doesn't show textures quite as crisp now obviously it's easy care so we love knitting with superwash but there are some disadvantages well this is the perfect blend because you have the superwash which adds a little bit of softness and the non superwash which adds a little structure so it's perfect for sweater knitting it's perfect for um, scarves and shawls that maybe have cables or texture in them of course you can just do stock in that with it but it is great for textures as well. So we have all the colors. These are not all the colors, but we of course ordered all the colors that they came out with and you will find those on our website and we're just in love with them. Now's a good time because maybe you want to use this for camp. Uh, which brings us into Camp Loopy. All right, we have been doing Camp Loopy. Let me just set that right over here. Maybe I'll set it in there so you can still see a little bit. We started Camp Loopy in 2011. Uh, the Loopy you started in 2006, but camp started in 2011. And it started because, you know, in the summertime, people don't knit as much. And so they don't buy as many supplies. And I thought, you know, camp is going to be a good way to keep people knitting through the summer and also um, help sales during the summer. Well, 2011 happened to be the summer that we up and moved our household from St. Louis to Colorado. So, of course, I get this bright idea to start camp that summer even though we were moving halfway in the summer, halfway between. And when we moved, we left Loopy in St. Louis. I had great elves, Loopy elves in St. Louis, and they kept things running with, you know, visits from me every so often, of course. And of course, I worked at home here every day on the shop too. But um, so we moved and I thought, well, you know, we might get a couple dozen people who want to do a virtual knitting camp. Well, we had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people who wanted to do a virtual knitting camp. So it ended up being a little more uh, work for those gals with me not there than I anticipated. But they, of course they did great and we got through it. And we have done camp ever since. So this year will be our 11th year of doing Camp Loopy. We have had a different logo and a different um, theme. Well, I guess the first couple of years it was just camping and then we started getting into themes. 
And we have had sweatshirt or t-shirts each time and um, we made some of those t-shirts into pillows, which I have to show you some of our past logos today. Now, for some reason, we're missing like four of the pillows, so I can't show you those logos and I don't know, we can't find them. We don't even have a very big stock room and they're just not there. But anyways, I thought I would show you some of the past logos. So this was our first logo and this was just quick and easy logo because as is so many of my ideas I come up with it and then like the next day I say Paul I've got this great idea can you make me a logo for blah 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 and so this was our first logo which we just put a tent for loopy and then we miss a few years of pillows sorry if I find them I'm going to show them to you in another video because they're just so cute um, we did a safari camp when was that? 2015. We had safari camp. That was a lot of fun. We have had pirate camp. Pirate camp was, of course, very fun. That was 2016. 2014, we had glamp glamper camp. That was fun. We had, um, this one doesn't have a pillow form. We had Cowboy Camp. Let's see, what year was that? 2018 Cowboy Camp. And this year we have Circus Camp. And this is just on the t-shirt, which is how we made the pillows with an extra t-shirt over the years, but Circus Camp. Now in our Circus Camp, we use make-believe animals who wear socks. There are no animals mistreated or harmed in our loopy circus camp. They're all fun make-believe animals who wear socks. So we are really looking forward to having circus camp this year. And here's how it works. So we do three different challenges. One for June, one for July, and one for August. You can participate for one month, or you can participate <coughs> excuse me, all three months. You can do two months, totally up to you. There are rewards for finishing camp. Um, and all of these details are on the blog. So I'm not gonna go through them because it's probably better if you read them and they're right there, but I just wanted to tell you how it works. So we have started Camp Store Week and Camp Store Week happens the month before the challenge because that gives you time to order your supplies. It gives us time to ship it out to you and get it before the first day of the month, which is when you can start your project. Now, part of the challenge is knitting your project in a month. So for the June project, don't start before June 1st, and you have to finish by June 30th. Uh, June 30th. Do you ever do that, um, figuring out how many days are in each month? June has 30 days, right? The way I learned it is you start counting on your knuckles and your knuckles have 31 days and in between have 30 days, but you have to double up down here. So you say July, June, January, February, March, April, May, June. June has 30. July, August, September, October, November, December. I always have to do, like kind of do that. I don't ever want people to see me doing that on my knuckles, but that's now you know that's how I figured out. June 30th, you have June 1st to June 30th to do your first project. And um, so that's part of the challenge, finishing it within a month. Can't start early, can't go late. You have to have your photo emailed, photo finished, finished product photo emailed to us by July 1st, on July 1st or earlier. Um, and that's how we're going to do it this year as far as I know. Um, you know, we've got a new website and we don't have our photo galleries right now. Um, we hope to have something eventually, but right now we're saying just email us support at the loopyu.com with your finished photo and all the specifics, what yarn you used and your order date and that kind of things. So, um, the first challenge has to do something with the word three. So we're celebrating a three ring circus. So you might pick three colors to work into your project. You might pick a project that has three different stitch textures. 
you might pick um, a project pattern that has the name three in it or yarn that has the name three in it. Um, you might have three different sections to your pattern. So somehow you want to celebrate the word three in your project. Maybe you're um, making the project for a three-year-old or you're making the project for um, to celebrate a something, third anniversary or something. Somehow incorporate the word three. And you know, we're, we like to give challenges because I know a lot of you like to have the parameters of a challenge, that's part of the fun. But we also want you guys to be knitting something that you want to knit or crocheting something that you want to crochet. So we're pretty flexible in how you interpret the challenge. As long as you can tell us how you made it fit the word three, we're good with that. So it needs to be uh, 400 yards or more, so a minimum of 400 yards. It needs to be 400 yards singly knit. And what that means is, if you are, for example, doing some felted project, in felting, a lot of times you hold yarn double to do felting because you want it to be really thick before it felts down. So let's say you're using 600 yards in your felting project, but you're holding it double. So really the knitted part is 300 yards because you held it double. So we want you to use 400 yards in June held singly and we want you to somehow celebrate the word three for our three ring circus. Now you do need to order your products from us because that's how we can tell, well a couple of reasons, that's how we can tell that you're starting a new project instead of pulling a whip out of your stash to finish which is also good but not for camp and it also helps provide funds for us to then issue rewards at the end which we love to do so um, order from us starting let's see this will post on the weekend um, check the blog post so we started camp store on may 13th it will end may 20th if you order during that time you can get a 15 percent discount on the yarn for your project now the only caveat to that is when we transferred the website over we um, converted any loopy reward store points you might have had into loopy credit so if you're going to use loopy credit on your order and you're welcome to do that uh, but we can't give you an extra 15 percent off discount too so you can use one or the other if we see your order come through and you've used credit then we'll know that you chose to use credit and not get the discount and that's perfectly fine so camp store week is for the next 13th through the 20th and then you'll start knitting or crocheting your project on june 1st you'll make sure to finish by june 30th and you'll make sure to have your photo sent to us by july 1st now the july project i'm not going to tell you what the challenge is yet but we will announce that in the middle of June because then you can pick your yarn, you can um, pick your supplies and get them ordered, we can get them shipped off to you so that they're there at your house ready to start July 1st. And we repeat it in July for your August 1st project. So we hope you'll join us. It's always a lot of fun. If you're on Ravelry, we have camp groups in the Loopy Groupies group. If you're on our Facebook Knitting Circle page, we'll be chatting about it there. Um, and we would just love for you to join us. Tag us on Instagram if you're doing it with um, hashtag the loopy you or hashtag um, Camp Loopy. And you know, last summer, they, Instagram for some reason stopped allowing us to search by hashtags. So I know a lot of you guys were hashtagging us to show us your progress on camp and we, we just couldn't search by hashtags. They finally lifted that. And I don't know if it was just for business owners because I know that in some of my business groups, a lot of the people were complaining about that, how they couldn't search by hashtag. Um, so I don't know if individual accounts noticed it, but for businesses for sure, we could not search by hashtag. So if you can, um, what is it called? When you link to us, if you do the at symbol at the loopy you, then we get notification that somebody has mentioned us in their comments. So when you're hashtagging, 
if you also add at the loop U, then we for sure get notice and we get to come see your progress and what you're doing and all of that stuff and that's always fun for us too so please join us for camp circus camp with our sock wearing animals and we look forward to chatting with you guys this summer and seeing the projects you make and um, also doing some giveaways and some drawings during the time too so thanks for joining me today i'll be back again soon bye bye